This week, I've been getting saws up and running, turning the wood chopped by lumberjacks into planks, which will be sold and used throughout the game. Having already drawn the saw last week, I began by drawing lumber blocks, which are the first stage that logs go through after being processed by a saw. These are really just wooden beams, which will be used by craftsmen to create different wood crafts. I've been avoiding the next stage for a while, but decided I just need to get on with coding the saws. All saws are represented in the code as a type of machine, and essentially turn logs into lumber and lumber into planks. I also added some code to make objects move smoothly over conveyor belts, rather than the sudden jerky movement that was there before. Naturally, the first attempt had a few bugs. Firstly, logs were slipping under conveyors as they moved. And when I attempted to fix that, they just didn't move on the conveyors at all. For some reason, at one point logs even took off into space. Both of these were fixed by adjusting how the game renders depth, as when the logs moved up in the y-axis, the game was interpreting them as being behind the conveyor belt tiles, which is how isometric games usually represent depth. This took some trial and error, but I eventually arrived at some values which worked. Having fixed this, I then discovered that when logs were chopped by the saw, they were staying on the conveyor belt and stacking on top of each other. This was because the actual game objects in Unity weren't being destroyed and a component on the game objects was instead. It took a while to realise the problem, but I fixed this quite easily and got the saws working quite smoothly. I took a break from development on Sunday and went to an exhibition at the v &A Museum in London about video games. It was really interesting and had great sections on classics like The Last of Us and Journey and how they were developed. Right, so I got back to work on Monday and decided to sort out the conveyor belt sprites once and for all. The bright red didn't look right to me, so my first attempt was to make them look a little bit more dirty, as they would be expected to look living out in the forest. I then added shadows to the lumber and log sprites and drew the plank sprites while I was at it. Having spent that time redrawing the conveyor belts, I still wasn't happy. They didn't fit in with the saturated colours of the rest of the forest, so I messed around a bit trying different colours for the arrows. I eventually just gave up on that entire design, as they looked more like carpet than conveyor belts and didn't really suit the whole forest theme. I decided to raise them up onto stilts made of wood, which gives them a much more rickety look, which to me suits the whole forest theme much better than the more sci-fi appearance of the last ones. I just drew the north sprite first to compare with the old one. Having tested that, I made a few adjustments before drawing the rest of them. I decided one arrow was enough to illustrate the direction, then decided to get on with the rest of the drawing. This was a little more involved than previous designs, as it wasn't just a matter of flipping the sprites, as the stilts wouldn't have looked right. Almost every direction needed a different structure under it. I also made these ones out of more well-defined layers, so I can go back and edit them more easily in the future if necessary. I'm finally happy with how the conveyor belts look, and this will really dictate how the rest of the machines and buildings look throughout the game. I like the wooden stilts and structures, and they look a bit more how I'd expect a lumber mill to look. They also remind me of the old wooden roller coasters in Roller Coaster Tycoon, another major inspiration for this game. So that's everything for this week. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'll see you here next Friday for the next devlog.